Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a new toolbox. It's quite a big toolbox from SGS. Thought I'd bring you guys along, show you what it's like, do a bit of a review and set this guy up to replace this one here. Stay tuned. So I can already tell, I mean, this is 46 inches wide. This is, I'm not too sure, 24 maybe, 30 max. This toolbox is going to sit about here and should come to about here. And I think, well, from my calculations, I've actually moved this shelf. For those of you who subscribe to the channel, this was about here before. In fact, you can just kind of make it out where it was. I've had to raise it up because this tool chest is, I think, 204 centimeters tall once the lid's open. So that is pretty tall. This is pretty full. I've got a lot more stuff I need to put into it. So I figured let's upgrade. So I think the first thing to do is to remove all this wrap and then separate the boxes, get rid of the pallet and get out of the boxes. I think it's pre-built. I think it's just a case of basically stacking the top on the base and I think you're done. So let's get this off and take a look. So that was actually well packaged it was well it wasn't that difficult to take out the box it kind of all just falls out when you, you lift the top sleeve off i see there's a an imperfection there some sort of dent probably where it's been clamped and then spot welded but this isn't a snap-on cabinet this is a, a cheap cabinet so if that's all i'm going to experience that's good news we do have instructions so I'm assuming it will tell me where the wheels are. Is that hidden on? Oh, there we go. That's the wheels. So I'll get the wheels out. Probably flip this onto its side. Install the wheels. Put it back down. And then, then kind of manhandle this on top. If I can. I might have to wait until I get some help. But let's see how far I can get. <laughs> wow, these look like something from the Fast and Furious days. Not too sure why we have to have bling on them. Bit of chrome. I would personally prefer just black ones, but never mind. Seem pretty smooth. This unit won't be really moving far at all, so don't really have to be that good of quality but as long as it can hold the weight of the cabinet that's all i'm really concerned about and we have some bolts so let's get this cabinet on side and get these installed it reminds me of the fast and furious you know the spinners that are put on wheels back in the day <laughs> yeah not a fan of that but seem pretty decent i'm sure they'll they'll do okay so let's get this back on all four legs and try and lift this on top i am just going to install this handle on the side pretty straightforward a couple of bolts let's get that on so it's in place it took two of us to do this had to go out and get some help I could not physically lift this, it was just way too heavy. So now it's kind of is a whole unit. I've got to say it's very impressive. It's it's big. I mean for a comparison, that's the old one. And this is a new one. It's probably three to four times bigger, which is great. It's a lot deeper also. Not too sure what that is. I think it's just the end of the roll, maybe, of the form. There's some issues, you get, there's a ripple, quite dusty, but there's a ripple going along here, 
We have a few scuffs. There's some on the edge here. There's a lot of issues with the spot welding on this. Everywhere is a spot weld. You can see it now. It doesn't help the fact that the unit is black and it's also black gloss. Obviously, that's going to show up every single imperfection. For example, there's one back here, a slight ding, and there's more evidence of spot welding. This is where the power line comes out. So you quite simply just plug this in to a socket. In fact, okay, that's my first issue. The plug is damaged. I'll have to get in touch because the prong has bent on the plug. It's obviously been damaged in shipping. I don't know if you can see that from the side. So that is not good. So that's one issue that we've got. I find it a bit disappointing that you can see the seams where the foam has been joined. It's not the end of the world. I probably will replace this. I do have some carpet. It's what you use in cars. And uh, yeah, I think the carpet will work a lot better because as you can see, this stuff, it shows up everything. So if you're putting tools in here, move them about, you get that effect, which is not nice. So I probably will end up changing that, I think, because that will drive me mad. The shocks seem okay. There's some scuff marks into the paint. I don't know if you can make that out. There's some here as well. I don't know if it's going to be picked up on camera. You can kind of, kind of see them. Regarding the drawers, I've not even attempted these yet. They seem okay. Quite stiff actually to, to open. We have the keys, I believe. Yep, yeah, this is the, these are the keys. So these will be for 6 or 3, so these are for that. I'm sure we had, yeah, we've got more keys. And these are for the bottom. So I think before I start really looking at this in detail, it's probably best to move this toolbox and all this and get this in place and well, see if it fits. So the toolbox is in place. It fits pretty snug. It sticks out a little bit more than I really wanted. It's not too bad. It's only a, a couple of inches, but I would have preferred if it was a bit further, further back. Now, obviously I could move the toolbox to here and it'll go right back against the wall, which would be great. But then I would struggle to get the sand blaster in place because I've only got a few inches at this end and maybe an inch or two here so if I push this along this will not fit so I have to relocate this to somewhere else which isn't possible at the moment disappointed about the plug which is a shame I have to get in touch with them we do have some other issues what looks like a footprint or something is along here. I've cleaned all this down, top and bottom, with some glass cleaner, and I just can't remove this this defect. We do have quite a few scuffs, which I've showed you guys already. We have a few issues, such as there's a mark here, and we have quite a lot of marks along this lip. I don't know if you can see them. Fortunately, this will be spending most of its life up I've actually did the bracket on this at an angle. I kind of roughly guessed what it would look like from the pictures to match this. So once this is open, don't know if you can see that, but the actual the beam for the shelf is in line with this crease, so it opens up fully. And I do I quite like that. This will be my charging station, so I'll have all my drills and battery chargers and such all across here. I will be using this to charge them. I don't need a replacement panel, but I do need a replacement cable. Now, yes, I have plenty of these laying about. I've got loads of computer power supplies, which I could quite easily chop and put in place. But when you're buying something brand new, I don't think you should have to, or at least if I do this, I want to get some sort of refund a compensation for my time and effort so if you guys stick around to the end of the video 
I will give you guys an update on what they suggest happens with this and also if I will be compensated for anything like these little defects now yes I will be coming in here with mucky greasy oily hands this will be getting scratched it's just how it goes but when you buy something brand new it should arrive in a better condition than I think I've got this in but that, that's just me I don't think anyone would like to receive a paint job as poor as this that is pretty bad I'm assuming that's a run it looks like a run this day and age with the technology that's out there we should not be getting that and we have I've just noticed up here some of the paint's actually scratched away so that could actually start rusting in the near future generally I am quite impressed it does feel quite solid I don't feel yeah there's no reinforcements under the actual trays I've got this big one No, so it is actually pressed. It's actually got a shape to it. So there's some sort of structure they've put in, but there's no actual bars or braces going underneath it. But it does feel pretty solid. I mean, I'm pushing down pretty hard. It does actually seem fairly decent. The drawers are fully extended. Don't seem to see any any movement. It all seems quite nice. They don't have a soft close, so it just stops. You kind of have to push it to lock it, so there's no actual lock mechanism. Like I've just noticed there's a scratch here as well, so I just keep noticing stuff. I probably should stop looking. I do like the drawers at the bottom. This is one of the reasons why I bought this particular unit. This was the main reason. But these big deep drawers, these are ideal for storing stuff in. A lot of the ones I looked at had very similar size to this on both sides. And that's just not good enough for what I need. I need to be able to store some big items. And I think they should do a pretty decent job. There's two. Then you have a pretty good drawer here. Probably get some carpet cut and put that in here. I don't want to say carpet, like I say, I mean carpet from a car interior. What you put on parcel shelves is quite tough. I think that'll be better because this will drive me mad. Now, I'm not going to do all the divides and do all the foam cutouts. I can't stand stuff like that. It looks okay, but if you're working on a car and you come in covered in oil and you're putting your hands in there and getting it all over the place, it just looks a mess. I personally prefer the whole, maybe it's a bit old school, but I just like stuff loose. So I could just grab them, but that, that's just me. So I'm going to spend a couple hours tonight if I can, once the little one goes to sleep. I'll probably get about an hour or so tonight, come back tomorrow, transfer the rest of these into here. There's plenty of stuff in the garage that will need to go into this also. I have that toolbox to empty and possibly this whole set. It's getting a bit dated now, I've used it a lot. So I might actually merge that into this and pick up a brand new mobile kind of socket set because that one has seen better days. That one has had some use over the years. Okay, so it's been a few days. I've managed to get pretty much everything I need to in the toolbox. And overall, guys, I'm really happy. So it's not perfect. I've ordered some new tools. They will be going here. I have my screwdriver selection, which is together. My pliers, wire cutters. We have some markers. This is my kind of designer draw, I guess you could say. Just some odd bits down here. I think this one's empty. Yeah, this one's empty also. This guy here is a bit of a mess. This is all my sockets. Now, I, I'm i going to do a bit of research and see what I can get. I want something to hold all these up. So as you can see, if you put the sockets up and then close and open the drawer, the sockets fall over. So I need to do a bit of research and find something that I can put into here to kind of organize this a bit better this will be my main go-to drawer i will pretty much live probably out of this drawer tools on the top and this drawer along with this drawer which is my hammers i have ordered a new handle for this it needs to be repaired but these two drawers i would imagine are probably my main two that i will be using i have a bunch of junk in here also these are not great they're a bit of a mess drill bits this is my video recording drawer so my 
batteries for my lights and just some GoPro accessories because I use a GoPro to record the footage. And just some bits and bobs at the bottom. It's a bit of a mess. This one is really messy. It's a work in progress. This one's not too bad. The reason why I've not had much time to kind of organize this how I want to organize it is because I've been redoing the garage. So some blaster is now over here. My cabinet full of cleaning products is over here with my bucket, a couple of tools on top, pretty much all my aerosols, fluids, all that sort of stuff is now up here. And my workbench, as you guys can see, is very, very clear. This is the heater box out of the Mustang. I'm going to do a restore video, I guess, on this. I'm going to try and restore it because all the basically all the gasket material all the foam padding has just perished over the years so that will be coming shortly so now the garage is in a, a position where i can actually work i've actually got room to actually do stuff which which is a big upgrade i will go away and research some ideas i do have a 3d printer i could print some stuff particularly the drill bits i was thinking about printing out some sections so i can actually put all my drill bits in the Obviously you've got wood, metal, masonry, and have some wood cutting bits up here, some specialty tools, some tree bits. So this that could definitely be improved. I want this to be really organized. I don't really care that much about the rest. Screwdrivers, always nice to have the screwdrivers in a place where you can easily grab them. And this drawer. I would love to come to this drawer and just get the quarter inch, half inch socket that I need and be done with it. I don't want to have to go through all this and try and find the right socket. However, overall with the cabinet itself, I'm very impressed. I love it. I really do. I love this little feature they've put in the sockets. So you have two sockets and two USB ports. I'm charging my batteries for the drills, impact the drill and the drill. And I also have my GoPro charger and also charging my LED light all conveniently inside of here. This is all obviously metal, so it's magnetic, so I can put stuff up here. I'll probably print off some stuff to go on here from the 3D printer and also get some more tools. And this is a work in progress. This is just me kind of chucking what I have in and just working with it really. As I buy Mustang items, I'll probably get some stickers. Hopefully I bought some stuff from CJ Pony Part and didn't get nothing, which was disappointing. So it'd be nice to get some stickers, maybe put the stickers on this section possibly or even on the edge of the drawers just to give it a bit more character because at the minute it's quite dull it's just black and silver not really much going on once you put some weight in they're much nicer to open and close as you can see that one pretty much closes this one because it's empty it stops once you get some weight behind them for example this drawer is very heavy when you close it it closes empty ones not so much. It likes it to be closed in the middle. Don't try and close them from the side. As you can see, you get a bit of a, if you just watch the end, kind of pushes the other side out. It likes to be closed from the center, which makes sense. It's on rails. Obviously the, the, the better two boxes, it doesn't really matter, but the smaller ones are fine. You can close them from either side. It's just the bigger ones. These ones, pretty much the same. It kind of bores out a bit. There was a few issues. We've got some, paint runs here and here but to be fair I've already removed this magnetic torch and scratched it myself apart from the actual plug the rest yeah it's a few scratches oh I did something yeah I did that too uh, the drill actually fell over and scuffed it so it's gonna get marked it's a toolbox guys this was simple to fix remove these two screws pull this out the mains cable is fed through the side and basically it's just soldered in place Put that in place, put it back together, it's perfectly fine. So there you go guys, all in all, I'm pretty impressed. It's pretty cheap, 720 pounds isn't that much of a price really to pay for something as big as this. There's other ones in the market for about a thousand pounds. I really am happy with it, I generally am. There's not really much I would change. I did change out the, the cloth at the top. So as you can see, I use carpet. I didn't like the form that they had. I just thought that was, well, I think I showed you guys actually, it shows up all the marks. I think the carpet looks much nicer. This is just some offcuts. I did a 
parcel shelf in an RX-7 and I had loads left over so I just cut some up, put it in and I think that looks much better. I didn't cut out the slot for the lock so when you try to lock it, it won't lock. I will not be locking this cabinet, I don't see the point. If someone's broke into my home, there's more valuable stuff in my home to steal than the stuff in this toolbox. Regarding the locks, I've not even actually tried them. Alright, so... Should that lock all of them? No. So we've got to make sure everything is closed properly. Is that the, the rule here? Yeah, so once everything is shut, yeah, so it does lock everything. But I will not be locking them. I don't see the point. But it's a nice thing to have, I guess, if you're in a, in a unit or if you're in a place where other people share it possibly and you want to lock your tools away. But for me, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So guys, I'm happy. I really am. Um, I've got no problems with it really, other than the, the electrical issue that we've already addressed. So yeah, if you guys are in the market for one of these and you're looking around and you've come across it and you've, you, you're basically wondering, is this the right toolbox for you? And this video has helped you out. That is great. I just thought I'd give you a very brief overview and a review of the product. So far, I'm happy with it. Obviously, if you guys are interested in an update a year later, or even six months down the line to see how it's holding up, it will get used daily. Not a great deal. I'm not a business, but it does get used, I imagine, on a daily basis. Even just coming in for a couple of screwdrivers, it will be getting used. So if you guys do an update on that, then just leave a comment down below, and I'll make sure to do a video on it. But for the time being, guys, hope this has helped you out. Like always, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,